When you travel to an island destination for your vacation, what are you looking for? I know what you're looking for. Sun, surf, and sand. Not necessarily in that order, but no surprises, right? But what if I told you there was an island that had a tourism plan that involved locals in the community who were dedicated to saving animals of all kind, both land and on the sea, and you could get involved in helping? Well, our correspondent Ricky Lander has that report in our Giving Back series. For more than 500 years, donkeys were the main form of transportation on the island of Aruba. Then cars came in and the donkeys were no longer needed. Thousands of donkeys were released into the wild. And you can even find some on the side of the road, right across from Baby Beach. But be sure you bring a treat, because they're hungry. But sometimes, wild donkeys become ill or are injured by cars. In 1970, the number of wild donkeys fell to only 20 left on the island. It seemed as if they'd disappear and along with them, a big part of Aruba's history. And that's where Donkey Sanctuary Aruba came in. This nonprofit organization takes in injured and neglected donkeys and rescues them. Donkey Sanctuary works with volunteers to bring back these historic animals. Founded in 1997 as a nonprofit, the Donkey Sanctuary has a simple mission to save the donkeys of Aruba. My name is Desiree Eldering, and I'm the manager of the Donkey Sanctuary in Aruba. And my name is spelled is D E. She says when she started, the sanctuary only had 23 donkeys. Today we have about 200 donkeys living on Aruba. We take care of 135. In the sanctuary where we are right now, we have 71. People call us, uh, there is a sick donkey behind my house, or if I saw a donkey with a broken leg and you go there, some of them walked in by themselves. At the donkey sanctuary, each donkey is given a name and receives food, shelter, medical care, and plenty of attention. The center is completely run by volunteers from all over the world. We have about 45 uh, volunteers and that includes the board of directors because we are a non-profit organization. Volunteering with the sanctuary is easy. You can do so by contacting Desiree through the organization's website. Most volunteers work four-hour shifts between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. Tracy Eli and Robert Olson are postal workers from New Jersey who've been coming to the Donkey Sanctuary for years. The first time we were over here, we stumbled upon the sanctuary. We were just traveling around the side of the island and uh, decided let's go in and take a look. And we, we saw a donkey just born and we wanted to see him three years later. They go to extreme lengths to keep the donkey safe. It's a great foundation. It's a great way to you know help out and, and take care of the animals. Even a half hour at the Donkey Sanctuary is a great way to give back and preserve the living history of Aruba. Bye.